Hey kids, welcome back to Honestville. Uh, before we get started, uh, as usual, I want to show you what we did uh, in the last Twitch stream session. Part of it anyway. Uh, did, uh, did a fair number of things, but uh, I'll show you the main, the main de de details. So, first of all, uh, we have... The subway system has kind of got some structure to it now. Uh, these lines, they're not getting too, too heavily used for the time being, uh, but... Uh, but they will, I think. They will, I think, as as we expand into neighboring tiles, especially. Um, you can see that the lines that go into into these wards um, are are quite busy. Uh, some of these I have built as subway with the intention of maybe taking them above grounds, uh, simply because I wanted to kind of structure the structure the system uh, in such a way that it can be kind of easily modified. Uh, easily modified and also extended into into the neighboring areas. So yeah, we've got two lines going into the north ward, I think. Uh, one line here going into the south wards. Uh, one line going east, and this this line here. We'll see where it ends up going and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, another thing I've started doing. I did a bit of this. Uh, I mean, most most of the work I was doing in in the um, on Honestville Extra on Twitch, which is by the way every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've started to put these parks um, uh, around. They're they're mostly just open spaces, kind of undeveloped for now, and we'll go back and and rework them later. But I've sort of spread a few of these around uh, this tile and the surrounding areas because I felt like there was a lack of. There was a lack of, um, you know, open space in the city. Kind of a bad habit of mine, but I'm, I'm really quite enjoying the... Uh, I have now uh, a mod. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Uh, I probably have, uh, but I have a mod now that allows for larger open grass area tiles. So it makes it kind of easy to quickly mark down. To quickly mark down uh, where eventual kind of developed parks will be and kind of allow us to place rewards and stuff like that. Uh, what else did I do? I also did uh, place some rewards. This has sort of become this has sort of become the civic square. We've got a major art art museum. We've got um, the police are here. Uh, we've got the city hall, courthouse, and the main library for the city. All placed around this this sort of square that's fairly close to the fairly close to uh, the waterfront. So that's kind of cool. Might want to redevelop that park into something more interesting. Uh, but uh, yeah, yep. And so yeah, uh, one thing that was really really fun on the Twitch stream, and I, I encourage you guys to check it out if you if it works with your schedule, is I've started to do. Um, well, actually, it was it was some of the viewers who some of the viewers who decided. Uh, to start basically putting new sticker items in the in the chat, <laughs> uh, which is hilarious. And so I am going to, I mean, we're going to keep doing that on Twitch, obviously. But uh, there is a Discord now for Rob's Red Hotspot, which you can access if you make a donation on Patreon. Uh, a few of the regular viewers, I am going to be doing, uh, I am going to be doing a, an invite uh, to a few of the people who've been watching for a long time um, on a on a sort of selective basis. So I'll, I'll reveal more details about that later. Uh, but basically, uh, if you if you make a small donation on the Patreon, you will have access to the Discord, which is now active. And I'm going to make a channel where you can submit like news ticker, uh, news ticker items. And I'm going to make a Twitch bot that does news ticker items. So that'll be fun. Just more fun ways that you can participate in the channel and support it. Uh, other than that, we do have some name recommendations. So Lee S has recommended that I name uh, sort of the office, one of the office districts anyway. Uh, the glass district, which I think is pretty cool. Maybe we'll pick this area here around the central station. So let's just do that quickly. Blue. Oh, I'm not using the right one. Okay, oops. There we go. Hey. God damn it. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm just on something and it's not working. Oh. Or is it hiding behind the tower? Wow, that is weird. Okay, there we go. Like, did not want to pl to plant them. That, I've never seen that before. Anyway, not a big deal. Uh, I also have an excellent, excellent naming recommendation from Burakuoto. Burakuoto. Not sure how to pronounce that. Um, and it is for... I think it should be for a residential neighborhood. And I do want to do it in the central tile. 
Uh, let's just find a neighborhood that is kind of missing a name. And yeah, I think this whole area around here doesn't really have, doesn't really have a name. And it is Dishonestville, <laughs> which uh, which I love. I I kind of can't believe someone didn't uh, someone didn't suggest that earlier. <laughs> Dishonestville, love it. Um, Michael Hewlin has recommended a name for a stretch of highway, uh, but I don't think we need uh, I don't think we need to name one in here. So let's uh, drop a save. We're gonna head out to the regional view. We're gonna be doing some regional planning this episode. Uh, I want to. I want to kind of uh, start expanding the city to the west, to the southwest, south and west, I guess. Uh, and I want to kind of structure the road network and stuff like that. So I think that's a good plan. I think that's a good plan. Wait for it. There we go. Uh, so I'm looking for a of highway that we can name you know what we'll name uh, we'll name the highway in south ward uh and do i want to the thing is i so what i want to do is maybe even extend these roads out so that they go to the, the edge of the grid uh and just possible that we might want like an avenue oh maybe not maybe we'll just stick with road connections uh for this for these tiles for the time being um, but you know what? Yeah, well, you know what? We'll do it in here because I want to extend uh, this road network to sort of meet up with the, the neighboring tile there. Uh, which we're going to do. Which we are going to do. So, I'll rotate it this way. Uh, I've got it. There's a few little things here. Which I did off screen. Um, which will re be revealed in a subsequent video. I have some... Uh, have some, some some exciting videos coming up. We do have a... Uh, I do have a, lo a rather long... Uh, Frac uh, fractional angle road there, which I've been getting more comfortable using those. Uh, not, not something I used a huge amount uh, in the past. I, I, I've sort of been aware of them and, and never really bothered to, to get to know them. But uh, but yeah, there's there's been a little bit of cosmetic work here. So let's name this stretch of highway here, and it is going to be called Route 4GB Patch, <laughs> which I think is hilarious in reference to the. Uh, the, uh, the patch that we always all have to download to make this game run on modern systems. So, lots of, uh, lots of great humorous, humorous names. There we are, that's saved. And now, what I'd like to do is take this avenue here, and I'm hoping to hook it up into the south ward. I think the south ward is kind of roughly here-ish. Yep, okay. So the idea, I'm just going to kind of sketch this out here. And then we're going to use some of the curve pieces to make that work. There we go. Kind of a struck, kind of a, almost a, um, uh, a boulevard that's going to kind of, or an avenue that's going to kind of go around the edge of the city in this, in this part of it anyway. Uh, and I'll see where that pops out on the other side. Uh, we may need to adjust it. Uh, it's kind of going to we're going we're to go back and forth a bit between uh, between regions here. But for now, let us grab. Uh, I'm going to try and use the. I'm really enjoying the multi radius curve pieces. I think I wish I'd used a little bit more at the beginning of this let's play, but uh, you know, I think that's correct. Oh, that's weird. Ta da Ah. Not quite in the right spot. A little bit awkward to place when you're um Oh that's too low. A little bit awkward to place when you're when you're on a slight slope plate as we are here. That should be it. I'm not sure why this isn't connecting, actually. You know what? I think we're going to use the other piece because I don't know what the hell's going on with this one. I don't know what's going on with that one. I think, is there another one in here? This should connect. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know why it doesn't, uh, it doesn't want to connect here. It might be a slope-related thing, or it might just be that the, the 
that the piece is not not designed for that. Uh, but I, I I'd be surprised. It's, it's quite annoying actually that that uh, that that piece doesn't do what I want it to do. So let's just use the standard curve piece. It's here. Is there a wider one? Yeah. Use this. No, we can't because we need it to be 45 degrees. Do it. Yeah, I wonder whether that's for uh, network widening mod, actually. That's what it might be. Do another one here. I think it goes there. Yep. It's a very slight difference uh, between the sort of regular, regular diagonal curve that you get, but uh, it's worth it. Makes things look a little nicer. That one goes there. I think. Oh, nope. Okay. Got a little closer so I can see what I'm doing. go. Um, this one here as well. We're going to have to edit, edit out some loading times in this, uh, this episode. Um, possibly also some zoning. Sort of planning on it for once. Um, because I really do, I want us to make a, a, a big leap, a big leap forward in terms of, um, in terms of the, the sort of shape of the region. Now that we've got those subways out of the way, I really cannot see what I'm doing here. I'm going to have to mark this with a marker. I think that's right. That sort of lump in terrain is not helping. That's kind of cool. So this avenue, yep, kind of going going down that way, and gonna have the road can come out and meet it. Uh, I'm just gonna connect it there for now, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too too much about filling in this corner for the time being. What do we have in terms of demand? We have lots of residential demand mostly. Okay, let's drop a save and head out to the regional view. This sort of road following the uh, this road is sort of following the uh, the edge of the hill there, sort of marking the edge of the city, to, so to speak, um, where there's that big hilly area. Pop out to the regional view here, uh, and I want to plot out the road network for South Ward, and kind of work our way around. If possible, it'd be nice to almost get them all done. Um, yeah, okay, so this can come here, maybe even sneak under there. And that avenue will meet up with it. Um, I'm going to, while we're while we're in Southward, though, I'm going to go back to Honestville Central and just extend some of these roads. Should have done that uh, before, but uh, you know, you know how it is. I wanted to show you guys stuff and do the naming stuff. Yeah, if you want to, uh, if you want to get on the uh, Discord, there is a link uh, in the. A link for the Patreon, uh, where you can make a small donation, and that's in the in the video description. If it's something that interests you. If not, no big deal. Uh, Alright, so get some just some roads north-south going that way. Actually, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, I don't really I don't really know that we need much more than that for the time being. For the time being. Uh, we can... Okay, that is, I think... Yeah, there's a station there, so just be careful not to... We're just going to be careful not to destroy that. Go that way. We might as well do the whole edge here. Uh, this road here should actually be... Oh, that's more where my census repository is. I'm not sure if I've showed you guys... 
that uh, in on this. For the time being, I guess there's just going to be roads going around the edge of this. Probably could get rid of that, actually. Yeah, water treatment plant. That kind of completes the road network leading uh, westward and south out of the city. Could allow us to, some of those I think will get upgraded to avenues at some points, but kind of as needed, um, kind of as needed. Now that we have a subway, we'll kind of prioritize subway construction over road expansion for a bit. I don't know what this is. Uh, we've got power going that way, we've got power going that way, and we have power going that way. Okay, so those, those three tiles should be able to be developed. And let's head to let's head to uh, South Ward and figure out. We got a highway there. We might have to do a little bit of uh, highway construction. Um, might have to do a bit of highway highway construction just to kind of structure it. We'll see. Don't know if I'm going to do any zoning this episode. It might be like uh, we may we may build. Um, we may kind of build the, the transportation networks out and then do subway do subway construction all in, uh, or not subway construction, um, zoning all in one episode. Uh, so I got to think about where this highway is going. And my instinct is to take it straight down here or to have it kind of go, go across this way. Uh, this highway here is going to extend outward that way. Or prop possibly even into this tile. Yeah, I think it'll actually extend kind of into this tile here. And then this one here will maybe go over here. But maybe kind of to the south of that tile. Yeah, just, just sort of along that edge there. One of these tiles is going to be an airport too. That's another thing I want to do in the next few episodes is, is download that airport mod and do, do a giant, a gigantic airport. So, yeah, I think this one will go straight down, curve across there like that. I think that's worth it. And although I, if I go down, actually, you know what? I'm going to go down to this tile simply because the rail will go that will go here. Yeah, let's let's go down to this corner. Let's, let's do a little curve here and, and go down to this corner. Or the rail could actually go out this way. Let's do that. Let's do that instead. Let's have this one go straight this way, and this one and the rail go kind of across this way. Make it a little bit more interesting. That way we have at least one, two, three, four rail lines coming into the city, as well as one, two, three, four, um, or five even highways, kind of all going coming into the central loop. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with the we'll start with just plotting out the um, rail highway here. Oh yeah, I've already started that curve too, um, and I am not going to. I am just not going to sort of micromanage the slopes of this this whole thing here. I'm just going to plot it out, and um, we're going to see we're going to see what uh, how it looks. Uh, let's actually start at this end here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave a, a separation between it now because it's kind of suburban, and I'm just going to do it in uh, in in this. Highway, and we'll 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 put a we'll stick a starter piece in there and, and upgrade it all uh, at at a later point. Trying to leave enough room for possibly an exit there. So let's just give a little bit more space. Oh, and I do I do want to see if I can use those curves actually, uh, which means I should at the very least I should probably flatten out the big area here. See if I can see if I can convince the the curvy bits to work. Uh, yep, curve is what we want. Uh, RHW. I think we'll go with four for now. May end up being three. Kind of has to go like there. Oh, it needs to be the inner curve though. That works. Go we'll grab this guy. Oh, we actually do need a starter piece in here. So I'll just do that now. Uh, let me zoom in so I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, 
Uh, and then we'll grab this guy. Okay. Oh, I should fix that neighbor connection, but uh, it's not really urgent at the moment. Now, I don't know if I want this. You know, I have been, I have been, um, we'll get rid of this curve here is what we'll do. Because uh, we're going to need it to narrow to two lanes. Uh, we may be able to do a di some diagonal. We may be able to do some, uh, some diagonal, um, ramps I have not done a lot of um, and I'm not planning on doing it this this episode but uh, but just in the future there we go do that for now we may need to make some adjustments to that and we're going to need enough space for an exit there here I don't think we can fit one uh, it would be really nice to have one there though Probably should should try and find a way to make it work. Um, one one thing I can do is probably move this ramp up so that it's higher up over here before this fly under. Yeah, really good idea. That will give us enough space. If I if I put it even just up here, that'll give us enough space to uh, to do a ramp system here, a ramp system here. And we need a third one here. And then we'll go onto the diagonal. I almost tempted to do the ramp systems now, but we will not. We will not. I can adjust the location of these curves if I need to later. I just want to get the basic gist of where the highway is going. Outer curve. Space there. Oops. Tricky thing about these curves is that you, it's it's like so hard to get the you got to put a starter piece on either side of them, just which is quite annoying, frankly. Uh, I'm not sure they don't uh, they don't connect up otherwise. Inner curve. What the hell's going on here? I like it to go there, but I think it's too wide. The outer curve needs to go up higher. Inner curve. It needs to go there. And we may need to do some shenanigans with starter pieces to uh, to get it to work. Kind of kind of makes me not want to use these uh, curves overall, uh, simply because because uh, what I end up having to do is something like this. I have to connect this up, and then I can I can take the disconnector piece, just get rid of these. Otherwise, I can't. Otherwise, I cannot get a functional diagonal highway going. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Work. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again. Really fucking annoying, frankly. Um. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't. It makes me not. It makes me want to not use the curve pieces. And if someone, if someone knows of a way to, oh. you have got to be kidding me. Okay, so we're gonna have to make the curve again. Someone knows of a way to um, to to do this that's more efficient. By all means, let me know. 
but uh, but yeah, I, I honestly I I gotta say the the whole curving thing here is really more trouble than it's worth in my opinion. There we go, finally. You see, it's this bit here uh, that will not work unless you unless you do it exactly as I just did. And we need to know that we can. I need to know that we can extend this here. Otherwise, it's all for naught. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So let's just take this all the way over to the other side here. And I would I would like to try and do a diagonal um, a di diagonal ramp system because I have not managed to get one of those to work yet. Okay, so we're going to just adjust the location of those curves. Now we're going to do a similar thing here. Uh, I think that one will work, yep. Okay, uh, that might have we not, might have not given ourselves some space there again. Probably not. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's... I'm going to have to delete the curve again here. I think. Yep. There's no diagonal starter piece either, right? So that's... it's kind of a challenge. Kind of a challenge. And I don't know what is going on there, but that's that. That's just a slope glitch, unfortunately. Which uh, I'll have to I'll have to do some work on these highways. Um, let's, uh, let's just fix this other end of it here. There might be a cosmetic piece that uh, that helps with what uh, with the problem we were having there. That that might be there might be like a puzzle piece we can just kind of drop in. Oh shit. If we can get a, a diagonal interchange system to work there, I'll delete this, bring these to where they would normally meet. It should be a little bit easier to do this one because we've already sort of got everything in place. Something when I did the initial episode where we kind of planned out the highway system. Um, you know, I've learned I've learned a fair amount of stuff since since then. Learned or just gotten more familiar with. Correct. Boy, is it ever touchy. Okay, there we go. That works. And the inner curve. I think it goes here. Nope. Yeah, that's a problem. We don't uh, do anything important. There we go. Uh, the outer curve might need to be moved. Uh, I think it does. Wait, though. Uh, interesting. A little bit, I'm a little bit perplexed as to why we were able to get the curve to work over here, but not on the other end of this. But we've got two curves there. For some reason, it does not want to place at this end, which is quite annoying. It should be able to go up one tile there. Let's try one more time, and then uh, it's just not going to be a curve, because... 
it is a hassle. Uh, there might also be a drag pattern I can do to get these curves to appear. It, that just occurred to me as well, but uh, but uh, I don't know it. And the thing about drag patterns, I mean, in some ways, you know, the puzzle pieces are, are a hassle. Um, the drag patterns, like, you either know them or you don't. And I've, you know, they've made a few diagrams over the years. Is that? Oh, Jesus. Um, they've made a few diagrams uh, over the years on various posts, but they're, they're not, like, they're not in the readme. They're not, you know, as far as I know, uh, there's, you know, if they want, in my view, if they want people to actually use those drag patterns, they have to kind of put them all in one place. Okay, that's not happening. I'm not sure what we could do to make that happen, uh, but for some reason, it's either the slope or something it doesn't like. So, fuck it. It's gonna be a weird, a bit of a weird turn here. Not happy at all. I think this might be a slope a slope problem. So I am gonna just lots of space there. And again, I will adjust the slope on this highway afterwards. Are you fucking kidding me? We're going to have to have the slope kind of match this area, I think. Oh, it can't. Yeah, it, it's a slope problem. Slope problem because of the, the slope there. So, tell you what, um, I'm not spending this episode doing this. Uh, I will work on this off screen, but basically what we're going to do is just jog it over here, there, and like that. Uh, that's hideous, but uh, the slope, whatever slope restrictions there are on uh, on um, <coughs> the real highway is not letting us do it, so I will be demolishing all this and flattening everything um, and redoing it off screen. But that at least gives us a sense of where the highway will be. And yeah, we've got a, we've got a median here, and then the highway kind of narrows and and goes into this this rather elegant um, little system there. Uh, I'll fix this. I'll fix it now. And in you know, in terms of Honestville's future on this channel, um, without without giving any kind of major spoilers, um, we are we are going to be you know there's there's going to be a, a, maybe I would say three or four or five more episodes uh, of this series, um, after which I will probably take a break to work on other fun content on this channel, including tutorials. The much requested, I've got a whole list of tutorials that people have been kind of requesting over over the past little while. And and also uh, the New Cities, the New City series, which which will be starting soonish. I have my, my new SSD is set up, so that was kind of one of the requirements for that. And yeah, so there's, the, you know, all the ingredients are kind of in place for that. And... And I think uh, when, when we get to a certain point with this series, uh, what we will be doing essentially is continuing to build Honestville on Twitch. And I will always post the stream archives. Uh, and there's other stuff I want to be doing in SimCity 4 as well. So, so yeah, we will, we will, I will keep you guys posted. Uh, no, this series is certainly not going away anytime soon, but where is the avenue? Ah, there it is. Okay, so this is this elevated here? Should be. Yes. I wonder if I can fit uh, an exit system in here. That would be really nice, actually. I'm gonna try. Kind of risky. Drop a save. Get the whole South Ward plans. See how long this. Uh, we'll see how long. This, this tile takes, and if we have time to go to the other one, then we will. Um, otherwise, 
Otherwise, that's fine, you know. Uh, but in the next couple episodes, I want to get these these areas around the city uh, planned out in terms of transportation. Um, and I think, in some ways, like I've, I've so in the last few episodes, I've been um, I have been not showing you guys the not showing you guys the the zoning, and I'll I'll probably do most of the zoning on Twitch at this point. Uh, if not, just myself off screen and sort of edit it out. We'll see. We will see. Uh, what is this? This one does RHW th six S L zero only. This one works, but I think try this one. I want to make sure it's the right ramp first. Yep. Okay, that was D one. Uh, hopefully we'll have enough space. Not sure that we will. Uh, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. I need the, uh, I need to have... These need to have the height transition. Not that one. Flex height. Yeah, okay, we need one more tile. Two more tiles, I'd say. So we can scrape a tile off here. One or two tiles off on each side, basically. Not really on this side, though. Hmm, okay. Try and get it on the other side. Yeah, I don't think we can go any any closer than that. So let's place the ramps. Flex ramp. E1. Trying to make a tight little interchange here. Okay, that works. Flex height. Close as those can go. And essentially, we're going to need the avenue to come through here. We'll see if we can fit. More flex height guys here. I think we can do this. That should work. Maybe not. I might need to change the... Might be able to do it right closer, though. Right close up. There's got to be a way to make this work. I think so. That's about as close as we can go, I think. Flex ramp. E1. Good. Okay. Lee. We can kind of cheat and make this work here. Completely symmetrical, but uh, but that's that's actually kind of how it has to be. Um, not really much of a choice. Okay, connect these up. Why is it doing that? I don't know why it uh, it is going to. Okay, I'm just going to do it the other way around. You. There we are. One interchange. And this this avenue. 
like this. We will make the nice avenue curves again here. Uh, we're going to make it a roundabout here. Somehow. Very, very carefully doing this so that we don't screw things up. And we'll see if we can fit. Should be able to fit one of those small 45 degree curves in here somehow. No, not that one. Change the location of it slightly if we need to. Yep, that works. Let's take this one. So, make another curve there. Here we'll make a roundabout. Uh, finally, have an excuse to use one of those avenue roundabouts. Unless... I want this avenue to keep going. You know what? I think I do, actually. Yes, yeah, so... Let's... Give ourselves lots of space here. Grab the avenue intersection. Should be there. Should be able to do this. Yep. There we are. We'll do the curve over here. There we go. Looking nice. And Imagine, imagine we'll have this avenue come down here. I don't know where it's going to go. I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, do the road network there for the time being. I mostly just want to develop the uh, the road network in the area of the city that uh, that we're might likely to develop first, like that. Oh yeah, this is one of those uh, super old. Um, one of these super old neighbor connections that I never finished. Uh, if we want this to be elevated, it needs to be level 2 or level 0, the neighbor connection. However, we'll go down to level 0, I think. Looks height. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more space than that, I think. Not a big deal either way. I can fit the neighbor piece in there. That's fine. I, I, I'd actually like to keep this uh, elevated because, well, first of all, it kind of needs to be over here. And also because it's going to make make various things a lot easier. Running the road network south southward under the highway is going to be a lot easier, so. There's our elevated train. That's probably going to go to a subway to go onto the highway. We may actually do another one of those elevated train and road type things, although I think I'll hold off on that for now. Let's take this rail line here. And... Just go straight under there. Yep. Probably a, a highway ramp system there. And a highway ramp system there, if not more than that. We'll see. Not a bad spot for the rail to go anyway. The rail's gonna keep going straight like this, all the way to the edge. And we'll see what kind of uh, rail line we wanna have there. Good. That's pretty much it for this tile, for the road network. Everything's kind of connected up. I'm, I'm not going to do like the gr the grid or anything like that. Let's just uh, let's just this up here. That's the power connection. Very important. 
But these are all, the, all of our major neighbor connections, so that's done. Fine. I kind of want to do another one here. Like so. Actually. Kind of align it so that I can go under this here. Go. Might have not have been a bad idea to do one of those as an avenue, but I think we'll just upgrade later. Ah, there's another one. Ah, here's an interesting, here's an interesting one. Do I want to... Could almost try and get this to go over the, uh, over, uh, over or under the highway here. I think it's probably worth doing if it's possible. Question is, is it possible? Uh, can I do like a level two? That would, that's what would do it, is a, a level two real highway two. Do a, uh, a one that goes straight over here. Or, for that matter, straight over here. I think this is level two. I think this is level... This is all level one. Drop the save quickly. <laughs> Should be able to sneak it over there. Uh, what I need is a starter piece for our HW... Two, elevated level two. Yep. Stick it. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to stick it here. Yeah, that'll go over. Looks good. A little bit weird with no pillar there, but uh, but so be it. Can I make the pillar up here? Oh yeah. And it does it automatically. Can I? That was probably not a good idea. That's okay. okay well, I, I want to keep that that pillar there. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Flex heights. And we want the the one that goes down two levels. kind of cool. Now we just connect it up at either end with um, regular road. Be good. We end up wanting a similar kind of similar kind of thing here or something. We'll see. But that's uh, that's quite useful. I'm gonna just drive straight over the highway there ramp system there. We're going to want a ramp system here for sure. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. I might try and, I might attempt another frontage road there. But that uh, that all connects up nicely. That all connects up fairly nicely. We're going to need I'll hold off on the uh, on the, uh, the flops for now. Yep, hold off on the flips for now, but we've got the this is this is a nice a nice grid pattern for the edge of the city. Uh, don't uh, Honestville initially we sort of weren't we were trying to sort of expand a little bit organically, uh, and and we still are uh, in terms of sort of natural growth. Uh, I just think that when the city gets to this size, it's pretty necessary to do a, a minimum anyway of um, of road design uh, to at least have the kind of skeleton of a road design. Road should kind of curve around here, I think, and back there, but we're not going to be working in that tile anytime soon. Yeah, some something something we may we may end up doing some form of we may end up doing some form of uh, avenue system on this in the central tile here on the west side. But for the time being, we'll just uh, we'll stick with, how, with with it is how it is. Stick with how it is. <laughs> Good God. Okay, uh, southwest wards. How much money do I have in this one? 337. Okay, that's fine. 
must keep in mind that, uh, that these tiles... This was an experiment. Going to be dezoned and deleted. Thankfully, nothing actually grew in it. Actually get rid of this entire road. So I can use god mode trees to get the trees back. At a later time. These are nice, big, wide tiles. Uh, lots of potential for expanding the city here. This might not be a bad tile for the airport, actually. Let's see if we can fit it. We'll do that next episode. Right. It's level 1 highway. Uh, I, I, I'd like to keep that, actually, level 1 uh, level one highway, if possible. Fix the neighbor connections. Yep. Let's, uh, let's do that for now. Alright, we got an avenue here. Uh, we should try and fix that the curve of that highway, if at all possible. But you know what? That's going to actually be an interchange. Which I think will happen on another episode. This needs to be... Right, it's level 1 on the other side, isn't it? Okay. Alright, I'll fix that off screen. I'm going to do that now to mark it. It's level, it's, it's level zero, I think, on the other on the other screen. Is that level two? No, that's level that's level one. Okay. Boy, this is a mess. Left a big mess here to clean up later. Here as well. Do we do this? Probably at level zero for the neighbor connections. The highway at level level one, especially considering it's already built. It would be expensive to rebuild it. This is going to go through there. That. That. And like that. Is there a rail? Okay, this is right close to the edge. I need to loop that out a bit there. Just for the time being. And I think we will... Put an avenue... Here. Going around the edge of the city like that. I'll redo the curves. Make a little roundabout or something there. Uh, and I think we're probably going to have to delete that little spur of the avenue, actually. So, we need to connect up this highway to... A sort of suburban stretch of highway, which is going to be kind of here. I want it to be, could be a little bit farther south. Let's go down to like here. Once again, just kind of build this out uh, in real highway, highway two. One tile apart like this. And I'm not gonna do the interchange uh, right, right at the moment. Hmm. This might even be... I think that's good. You know what? Let's jog it over one, two more tiles. There's going to be another one of these kind of diagonal Y interchanges here, which I've gotten quite good at making, and I'll probably make one of these maybe on the Twitch. Like this, this highway here will essentially going to be kind of shaped like this. feasible, but I'm sure we'll find a way. I'm sure we'll find a way to make it work. Be an interesting one. And that gives us a sense of how this is going to work. Let's, uh, I think there's one more tile that we can pop over to. Let's drop a save and do that. Uh, the details here 
details here we'll work on on Twitch or off screen. Yeah. I don't think we can. Yeah, that's perfect. That's kind of where I want it. Um, I might jog it over a bit in this tile just to leave space for the interchanges because it's quite close to the quite close to the edge there. It might want to be more like here, but uh, I don't mind kind of jogging it over a bit. This one will go right along the coast, I think. Right along the coast. Connect up to some bridge over there. But that's perfect. Right, right near the edge. Already, already just looking at it like that, uh, we get uh, a better sense of the, the shape of things. Let's uh, let's connect up the road network here. This might be one. Maybe want to be replaced by an avenue or something. We'll see. We shall see. And yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with the neighbor connections for now. This avenue here will go right along the coast, and the highway will come and kind of meet up with it later. Like so. The highway is going to go there, and then I mean, this avenue will maybe sort of end and connect and turn into the highway over here. This is going to be a very interesting tile to work in. Looking really, want I wanted to get this this bit done, uh, and it's not so so bad for you guys to watch the sort of regional planning. I think this this bit of planning here done, uh, and that will allow us to work in some some of these interesting tiles on the edge. Uh, we need some more road connections here. Go back to Honestville Central. Grab some uh, some road connections so that we don't end up with a Kind of uneven grid, so to speak. Ah, coastal city. Another coastal city here was well, going to be really cool. Another tile we can develop is this one, of course. But uh, that can wait. I want to turn that into a nice, nice wide curve, if possible. There, maybe even go onto a diagonal. But it's it's already looking uh, it's already looking a little bit less. Um, a little bit less kind of jagged and square just because of the curves I've laid down. Very cool. Yeah, we need some more uh, some more road connections here. This tile has no demands, uh, so we'll need to. Okay, we want a road connection for sure. Oh, I didn't do the rail. And here. I did not do the rail. Make sure. Yeah, I, I, I imagine uh, I'd like to I'd like to kind of get Honestville sort of fill out this area. We're gonna do a little bit of work in the spam mod, which I have installed now. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of work in the spam mod, uh, just to sort of demonstrate what it is. And I've I've got I've downloaded some demand mods to sort of force agriculture to uh, to build as well. So we'll see what kind of what level of success I have with that. I think it should be fine. Yeah, this rail I think is going to go. I'm gonna draw it in a straight line for now. So actually, probably kind of curve a bit up here, and I will put curves on the rail as well. Kind of going over the hill a bit there, but that's okay. And just kind of next up there. I'm not sure if it will actually be diagonal like that. Take a look at the regional view one more time. It might actually just go straight out. 
but it is kind of hilly here, so we shall see. We shall see. Maybe this guy will go straight, run into a sort of tramway system like we did in the other end. Need to build a bunch of residential in these areas and uh, also get the, uh, maybe make some tax adjustments in Honestville Central to to get that to work, to get to, to get more zones to build up there as well. But yeah. I think I like that. I think I like that. The rail... I'll have the rail curve actually a little bit earlier. The rail curve a little bit earlier maybe. To go along the edge of that tile or something. This highway may just turn into a, an avenue or something. I'm not sure. We'll see. It'd be interesting to... Uh... Yeah, you know, I guess this highway here could be the one that kind of comes down and does the bridge. This one can turn into a sort of an avenue along the along the coast. But that's that's getting ahead of ourselves. That's all getting ahead of ourselves. Um, the, point is, the point is we have some highways coming out of the city. Uh, we've, we've really mapped out the... this this corner of the city here as well as this one and that's going to allow that's going to allow for some interesting developments in the next few episodes so um be sure to check out on uh, fridays for more honestville episodes like i said i'm going to do a few more episodes before i put this series kind of on pause uh i will always be working on honestville on twitch on mondays at 5 p.m eastern standard time also i'm probably i'm not sure but i'm probably going to do another live stream this sunday if not this sunday i might actually do it next sunday we will see because i I'm, I'm a little bit behind schedule this week uh this video is even going up a little bit later than i had hoped but uh but there will be a live stream to follow up on the airport challenge i did a uh, youtube live stream that is on a sunday at noon which is better i know for some of the european viewers uh and i'm going to do the part two of that where we we got the medium international high uh airport ports in the, in the city I was working on, uh, we are going to focus on getting the large international one in part two. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao.